Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you a recipe of ragi mudde. Ragi is nothing but finger millet and mudde means a soft ball or a lump. This is a very popular and a traditional recipe with lots of health benefits from Karnataka. So let's begin. Take a heavy bottom vessel. You can also use a non-stick pan. Measure 3 cups of water in 250 ml cup. I am using 3 cups of water for 1.5 cups of flour. To this add 1 4 teaspoon of salt and 1.5 tablespoons of ragi or finger millet flour. Mix well to remove any lumps. Transfer this vessel to a stove top and switch on the flame. Keep stirring in between. You will see the mixture comes to a boil. Now it's the time to add the ragi flour. I have used 1.5 cups of ragi flour in the same 250 ml cup. Add all the flour and leave it undisturbed for 1 to 2 minutes. Simply spread it with a spoon and let the flour steam for 1 to 2 minutes. Traditionally, this mixture is mixed using a wooden stick which is called a kolu in Kannada but you can also use a wooden spatula or a rolling pin for this. Now mix well to remove the lumps. Mix it well. Keep the flame to the lowest. Once you see there are no lumps, add 1.5 teaspoons of ghee. Adding ghee will help in easy digestion. Make sure you cook this on low flame to avoid burning. Now cover it with the lid and let this cook on low flame for 4 to 5 minutes. After 4 to 5 minutes, switch off the flame and keep it covered for 3 to 4 minutes. The cooking will continue at this point. After that, open the lid. Transfer the dough to a wet plate. Once you transfer all the dough, some dough may get stuck at the bottom of the vessel. Do not worry, you can avoid this if you use a non-stick pan. The ragi needs to be cooked perfectly to avoid indigestion. Pinch a little dough and form a ball. It shouldn't be sticky. This means it is perfectly cooked. Now 
give a quick mix with a wet spatula just to make sure there are no lumps. Divide the hot dough into equal parts. Sprinkle some water on a wooden surface. Take some dough. Wet your hands and form round balls. Using wet hands will help to shape the hot mixture. Ragi mudde is now ready to serve. I have made 5 to 6 small size of ragi muddes. You can make it slightly bigger. Ragi Mudde is ready to serve. You can serve it with any dal based wedge curry or even a chicken or mutton gravy. This is a Malabar spinach and raw papaya gravy. Thanks for watching.